Peter, not your average guy on the Never Mind Your Own YouTube channel, and I am driving with the Quad and the Skydio 2. And what I want to do is, I want to see how fast this thing goes and can catch up with me. It can go 57 kilometers per hour. So this is kind of a straight path. It should be able to follow me easily. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first do a drone selfie. So it will be like a hundred meters away from me. And then I will drive away before it has come back so it can catch up with me. And then uh, let's see how it goes from there. I don't think I will be doing a lot of talking because this is going to be fast and I need to concentrate on this. So. So it's getting ready and it should be able to fly right now.
orbit around me. So this is like the victory orbit. The victory orbit for the drone. Because it's doing an amazing job. Just incredible. I love it. And what if I increase the rate? Can I do that? Not, not very much. 
This thing is fast. This thing is fast, man. I was driving 60 kilometers per hour and it could catch up with me. It just, it had no trouble. And then, of course, going under the trees, it lost me GPS uh, locking and it found me back and it could follow me the rest of the way. And then, in the end, this was strange. Why would it do that? It was up high. It didn't want to lock onto me anymore. The thing is, you have to understand, guys, that when you see the video, you can see the screen all the time because I record it. You can see what's happening. You can see messages or whatever. I don't see that when I'm driving here. I'm just driving. And the only thing I see is like, is the drone still there? Is it following me? And for the rest, I don't see anything. So it's you guys know more than I when I when I'm driving and only when I look back I can see what has been going on so it's even like because I record the ski screen I can see what what the messages are and what is happening but if I would not record the screen I still would not know like what what, what was going on you know so um, <clears throat> that's that's the thing but still I love it. I think another thing is, is that I had the phone connected uh, through the Wi-Fi of uh, this thing. That's, that's possible. So it means if I have the beacon, it's beacon, not bacon. I'm sorry, guys. So if I have the beacon, uh, I can still operate it with the drone. But because there is the beacon, I, I can get further than only with the Wi-Fi of my phone. But... I don't need to operate this thing with the beacon. I can just operate it with the phone, which actually is more convenient than the beacon. So that is what I basically have been doing over here. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and see you on the next one.